exercises. Question 1. Fill in the blanks. 1. Dash artery takes the blood to the lungs for oxygenation. The answer is Pulmonary artery takes the blood to the lungs for oxygenation. 2. Dash is the largest gland in the body. The answer is Liver is the largest gland in the body. 3. The digested food is absorbed by the dash in the small intestine. The answer is The digested food is absorbed by the villi in the small intestine. 4. Lymph flows in dash direction. The answer is Lymph flows in one direction. 2. Correct the following statements. First, aquatic animals breathe at a slower rate than the terrestrial animals. The answer is, aquatic animals breathe at a faster rate than the terrestrial animals. Second, in human beings, the blood goes to the heart in one cycle once. The answer is, in human beings, the blood goes to the heart twice during each cycle. Third, plasma is called as the tissue fluid. The answer is, plasma is called as the fluid connective tissue. Fourth, carbohydrates are the bodybuilding nutrients. The answer is, proteins are the bodybuilding nutrients. Fifth, calcium oxalate crystals present in the cells of some plants are called as raisins. The answer is, calcium oxalate crystals present in the cells of some plants are called as raphids. Question 3. Give scientific reasons. First, breathing rate increases during vigorous exercising. Answer. 1. During vigorous exercise, a lot of oxygen is used by our body to release energy from glucose. 2. This leads to lack of oxygen in all cells. 3. We take in oxygen when we breathe. 4. Hence, to increase the amount of oxygen intake, there is an increase in breathing rate during exercising. Second. Translocation is needed in all higher plants. Answer. Food manufactured in the cells of the leaves is transported to each cell of the plant. Besides amino acids, excess food is taken to storage organs. Hence,
translocation is needed in all higher plants. Third, the plants are kept in dark before determining the factors essential for photosynthesis. Answer. The plants are kept in a dark room so that all the starch gets used up. Hence, the plants are kept in dark before determining the factors essential for photosynthesis. Fourth, it is necessary to separate oxygenated blood from the deoxygenated blood in mammals. Answer. Separation of oxygenated blood from the deoxygenated blood allows a highly efficient supply of oxygen to the body. This is very essential to animals that have high energy needs which constantly use energy to maintain their body temperature. Hence, it is necessary to separate oxygenated blood from the deoxygenated blood in mammals. Question 4. Draw a well-labeled diagram of the following. First, human excretory system. Second, vertical section of the human heart. Third, digestive glands. Question 5. Answer the following. First, how are fats digested in the human body? Answer. The bile released by the gallbladder into the small intestine breaks the fat globules into smaller ones, due to which the enzyme lipase is able to act on the fats and converts them to fatty acids. Fats are digested in the human body in this manner. Second, what would be the consequences of deficiency of hemoglobin in the human body? Answer. One, hemoglobin is a hemoprotein which has great affinity for oxygen and is responsible for supplying oxygen to various parts of the body through blood. Two, Deficiency of hemoglobin hampers the process of oxygen supply and leads to a condition of lack of oxygen in the body. 3. Oxygen is needed for internal respiration and release of energy and hence lack of oxygen results in loss of stamina to do work, fatigue and also a decrease in resistance of the body. 4. Thus, every metabolic function of the body gets affected. 5. Severe loss of hemoglobin can also lead to death. Third. How do plants get rid of their excretory products? Answer 1. Plants do not have definite excretory system. 2. Gaseous wastes are eliminated by diffusion. 3. 
most of the plant wastes are stored in vacuoles of the leaves, flowers, fruits and bark that falls off. 4. Waste products are stored as raisins and gums in old xylem. 5. Plants excrete waste materials into the soil around them. Question 6. Given below are the end products of different reactions involving glucose. Glucose 1. Starch 2. Glycogen 3. CO2 plus H2O that is carbon dioxide plus water 4. Lactic acid 5. CO2 plus ethanol that is carbon dioxide plus ethanol write the reaction number in front of the following 1 anaerobic reaction glucose reacts to give carbon dioxide plus ethanol plus 2 ATP Two, reaction in human muscles. Glucose reacts to give lactic acid. Three, aerobic respiration. Glucose reacts to give carbon dioxide plus water, that is CO2 plus H2O. Four, reaction in plant cells. Glucose reacts to give starch. Five, reaction in liver. Glucose reacts to give glycogen. Question seven. Answer briefly. First, explain the process of translocation in plants. Answer. 1. Food manufactured in the cells of the leaves during photosynthesis is transported to each cell of the plant. 2. Besides this, Excess food is taken to the storage organs like roots, fruits, and seeds. 3. This process is called translocation and it takes place through the phloem in upward and downward directions. 4. Translocation process requires energy and this energy is obtained from ATP. 5. When food material like sucrose is transferred in that area, this results in the movement of water into cell due to osmosis. 6. The contents within the cell thus exert high amount of pressure on the cell wall, because of which the food materials move to the adjacent cells with low pressure. 7. According to the plant's needs, the food material is moved in the phloem to the various parts of the plants like buds, roots, stem, etc. Second, explain the structure and function of a nephron. Answer, structure of nephron. One, 
Nephron is the structural and functional units of the kidney. 2. Each nephron is about 3 centimeters long and 20 to 30 nanometers in diameter. 3. Each nephron consists of a. Malpighian body b. A long renal tubule 4. a. Malpighian body compromises Glomerulus and Bowman's capsule. Glomerulus is a complex network of body vessel and Bowman's capsule is anterior double-walled, cup-like, hollow structure. 5. A. Renal tubule is long, coiled, tubular part and consists of neck, proximal, convoluted, tubule loop of henal and distal convoluted tubule. 6. Functions Urine formation is the vital function of nephrons.